Now, many of you sitting out here, uh, when we talk about intellectual property, you think about large companies, and there are many companies represented here. But what I'd like to introduce now is what I consider the new face of intellectual property ingenuity. So please come up here. I'd like to again introduce Adib Suleiman Mohammed Abulushi. Hello everybody, my name is Adib Suleiman Abulushi. I'm from United Arab Emirates and I'm 10 years old. Today I'd like to share a few stories with you that changed my life. They were the path to my success of being an inventor. One day my father brought us to the beach and um, we all just went swimming basically. But um, we all went in at the beginning. My father took his time so I went to go check what happened. And I saw him taking off his medical apparatus which um, he wears because he's a victim of polio. So, I went and um, I asked him, why are you taking it off? He said, because it's not waterproof, and if I go in the water with it, it would get damaged. So, I decided that that was really dangerous, and it's, like, if he fell or stepped on a really sharp rock, uh, it would be dangerous in general. So, I decided to make a medical apparatus that was waterproof. But at that time, I didn't know how. So luckily, I told him the idea, and he, he introduced me to, to a doctor, Dr. Johannes. He's an orthopedics doctor. So I shared with him my idea. He shared with me the way how we can make the how we can evolve the idea into an actual thing. And um, well, I agreed in the project. But to this day, we're not done with the project yet, but we're nearly done. And um, I, I wish I could talk more about the invention, but I can't due to a few reasons. And, um, well, yeah, next invention. Um, just before I start say, uh, talking about this invention, the two inventions that I'm talking of right now, they're, the two fa they're my two favorite ones, and they're, two, they're my first two ones. And they're my favorite ones because they're from my mom and my dad. The second invention is for my mom. Um, earlier, like maybe a year ago or two years ago, we like bought a new couch and everything. And then um, the t the small space from under the couch was really small, so it was, my mom had like a hard time cleaning under the couch. So um, I told her, "You can go rest, and I'll clean for you under the couch." But knowing myself, I wouldn't do that in a million years. So. I decided to make a robot that could do the job for both of us. And I only used materials that I found in my house, so I didn't have to like do anything I wasn't supposed to. I just used like materials that I found in my house. And um, I finished, and I gave it a test. It worked. But I'm like, hold on. There's one thing I don't like about this invention, or any other invention. It always starts off with a boring color. And I really don't like it, so I decided to name this one the prototype. The actual one, which I did make, had feathers and colors. <laughs> and tip, when you use feathers, it can clean the sides better, so I'm using it to my advantage. And um, I should probably keep this in my head for 2.0. Um, it's loud, and I think I need to fix that. So my mom, when she was um, sleeping, she, uh, she left the door open, and when I was cleaning the couch, it's actually quite close to her room, so she heard it, and she woke up, and then she, she was a little, like, angry. She was like, what's that noise? But then she got more angry when she saw me watching TV. So she said, were you supposed to clean? And I told her, um, I made a robot that can do the job for both of us, use the materials I found. Um, she got a little less upset, and then she looked under the couch, but then she was, um, when she came back, she, um, she was happy, she stared at me, you know, average, she hugged me, she kissed me, whatever. <laughs> well, basically, yeah, that's what she did. And, um, yeah, that's basically this invention. Um, again, I can't talk much of it because of the few private reasons, I really can't talk a lot about it. And, um, yeah. Those are the two inventions I only have time to talk about, but I, um, I'll talk about one other thing. 
Um, recently, I've been in NASA. Everyone knows what NASA is, right? Um, in NASA, I got to do NASA Space Camp. I got to do uh, training for missions that I got to do later. And then we got to do simulators, which simulated what it felt like to be a real astronaut, or situations that would happen. Um, just for example, um, we did something called the G-Force Accelerator. Um, and it like pushes back on you, just like when you're launching off from a spaceship. They explained it to us. Um, it was really fun, and um, yeah, it's basically one of them. And um, so many, I also got to do so many other things, and the group also got to do so many other things. But I don't have time to mention all those things, so um, finally I'd like to thank Interpol for this amazing opportunity of being here with you. And, uh, um, and I'd also like to thank my country, the United Arab Emirates, and its leaders for giving me the support that they did. And also big thanks to Mr. Aham Yasmina for helping me the way he did. Let me conclude now. My humble request to all is to, is to never, ever, ever give up. And remember, turn back crime. Thank you.